Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Moira and I'm employed. <laughs> So, this video is just gonna be a little life update, story time. Because I am finally entering the next chapter of my life, which is adulting and working for the rest of my life. And yeah, I thought it would be fun or interesting to share this with you since you saw me go through my whole college journey from Hell Weeks in UP to my thesis Hell Year and graduating and stuff like that. But before we get started, of course, disclaimer lang na first, everything that I'm going to say ayun, po, ulit, is just my own personal experience experience every person finds a job differently especially depending on the line of work that you're gonna go into second disclaimer is that I am not going to be name dropping any companies or the firms that I applied for or the firm that I work for now because I'm not trying to cost some tea and just for the sake of the privacy of the companies and my own privacy too so I, I'm gonna talk about how I got my job what I researched everything that I did and stuff so if you want to know more about that then just keep on watching and let's get right into the video Woo! so let's go all the way back to one year ago so May 2019 was my last month in school I think my last day was around May 24 25 um, and that was my last day ever in school, in college. That was when we passed our thesis book. Ganyan. And then we even had a photo shoot in front of the UP Archie logo. So that was the start of my vacation. Our last day was in May 20 something, and our graduation was still in June 30. So we still had this one month of vacation left. Na talagang student pa lang kami. So yun, chill lang. Lahat ng mga hindi mo nagawa no college ka or no thesis ka gawin mo na like and I started playing The Sims and more video games that I didn't get to play I binge watch a lot of TV series and movies it's really just that reward for yourself for surviving college June 30 I graduated link down below <laughs> Okay. Usually in Arki, people tend to take a break right after college just because Arki drains the hell out of you. Although I know that not everyone uh, could afford to do that. Na yung iba kailangan magtrabaho agad to provide for their family. Ganon. So ayun, I think I'm very fortunate and privileged enough na hindi ko kailangan agad magwork. Um, so yun. So actually, in Arki, I think average is like three months of vacation before you start to work. That was actually my original plan, ma. Three to four months, ganyan. June, July, August, and then when August came, I dapat mag research na talaga ako. Pero kasi nung dumating yung August, alam mo yun, I was still enjoying my vacation, and I think factor in na nag YouTube ako, kaya I never really felt like I ran out of things to do. Like there was always a new video to film or to edit. So sabi ko, just take it slow, whatever happens, happens. Next came September and October. September and October for me is like birthday season. A lot of my family and friends' birthdays fall during those months. So laging may ganap, as in every weekend laging may lumalabas, may out of town, or may party sa bahay, ganon. So, ayun, very eventful pa din. But then, November came. And November, wala na. Tapos na lahat ng ganap. Tapos so, nauubusan na rin ako ng mga papanoor, ng mga lalarin na, oh my god. Wala na akong magawa sa bahay. Parang, ito, ito na ata yung sign na kailangan ko maghanap ng trabaho. November was the month that I actually started researching and applying for jobs. So, what I did is, of course, first start with creating a CV and a portfolio. CV is your resume na doon mo nilalagay, I don't know what things about yourself. Actually, I wasn't even sure what to put there. It really helped to do a lot of research and also a good website is actually Pinterest. They have a lot of sample CVs there as well as portfolios. Especially sa portfolios, talagang nakatulong siya. Since nga I'm applying for a job in the architectural field, required ang portfolio so that companies can see how good your design skills are and yung technical skills then. Anyways, this is my uh, resume. Ganyan. Huwag mo nang basahin. Ganyan. Uh, I just wanted to show you the layout. Ganon. So that you have an idea. And then, this is my portfolio. Ah, tada! It's like a magazine filled with some of my selected plates when I was in college. So you saw me do this house in a Sims video. I also made this in the Sims. Blah, blah, ganyan. And then, just a 
lot of other group plates mostly because we have group plates in college eh. and then this is my thesis ayan yeah perspectives diagrams blah blah and the uh, scale model when i got done with my cv and my portfolio i did that for like a week because <laughs> it's so um, i started researching online about available jobs or firms that's it in archi there are two paths Paths. Either you go for a smaller firm or a bigger company. The main difference is in sabi nila, pag smaller firms kasi usually mas hands on ka sa projects as in kung may binigay sa yun na project, ikaw mismo maga handle on you're gonna meet with clients kanyan, so you're gonna gain more experience. Bigger companies naman, guru mas less hands on siya. Although it could still differ, so we were all leaning more towards so smaller companies kanyan, kasi nga sabi, mas hands on ganan. But what I didn't realize during that time na kapag smaller company, mas hands on nga, but there's more possibility of working longer hours kasi konti lang kayo. So, parang ako, okay, gusto ko bang lagi akong late umuwi ng bahay? So, yun, medyo nagdalawang isip ako doon. So, that's something that you should think of when you're trying to apply for a job. But anyway, so what I did is I made profiles on LinkedIn, Job Street, and Indeed. And yeah, I just started to look for jobs that are hiring as of the moment. And at first, what I wanted to do is I would only apply for companies that are within my city. Kasi ayo kung magcommute na sobrang pagkalayo layo araw araw. Kaso when I researched more and more, I realized that there weren't really that many around. So Medyo nag-research din ako ng medyo. Medyo labas niya, pero kaya pa din um, e-travel every day. And other than that, I also considered like the top architectural firms in the country. Although bigger firms sila, hindi ko marami ka pa rin matututunan kapag ganun. Those are the main firms that I looked at. So, firms within my city and the top architectural firms. Mga mid-November, I sent out applications to six Firms, and I honestly didn't expect for anything to happen. No time na yon sabi ko sige, sent na bahala na si Lord. When I sent them out, the thing is one company replied immediately saying that they're not hiring as of the moment, and then another one invited me for an interview. But dun na nagkamale. Nung nagreply sila, cha lang ako nagresearch more about their company. Nung nagresearch ko, hmm, para hindi to fit para sa akin. So ayun tip is na bago ka mag-apply, <laughs> check nyo muna yung website, lahat ng reviews, ganyan, just to see if you think that you're gonna fit in there. Middle of the week, kasi ako nag send out na applications and then Monday the next week merong nag text they're inviting me for an interview the next day agad agad so parang, oh my god ni pa ako nag ready wala pa ako napapag-aralan so <laughs> pero syempre kailangan mo mag yes kasi sayang naman yung chance so i said yes and during that Monday i crammed everything as in doon pa lang ako nag research about job interview questions and answers ganon and nag review ako nung CAD and SketchUp kung paano galawin kasi medyo Ang tagal ko na siyang hindi nagamit and I'm not even sure if I slept that night because sobrang kaba ko because it's gonna be my first ever job interview in my whole entire life. But when I got to that office, surprisingly, I was very calm. So I go, kaya po. <laughs> sobrang weirdo. So first, we had a computer exam. So ayun, ganun din. Usually kapag archi firms, there's an exam to get in. Um, But it depends per company. It could be a computer exam, it could be a written exam, a pop quiz, ganun, or design is keys. It really differs from company to company. So anyway, so doon, we had a computer exam of basic CAD and SketchUp. And then after that, we had three rounds of interviews so there's like HR and then senior architect and then new principal architect for me that all happened in one day by the end of the day they actually offered me a job and so last week I chill lang ako sa bahay tapos ngayon May job offer na. Pero kasi that week, meron pa akong isa pang interview. So, sabi ko na I'll decide by the end of the week. Gana. But then I came to realize na, ewa ko, parang feel ko lang hina hindi ako para sa company na yun. As in, ewa ko, parang i-feel nyo din kung tingin nyo ba mag-fit in kayo doon or tingin nyo ba na ito na talaga yun or there's something better out there. So, I politely turned down their offer to consider other opportunities. So, my interview for company number two happened on Thursday. So, there I took a written exam 
about basic Archie stuff. Although, madami ako na lip lang. Sobrang nakalimutan ko na lahat. And then, I had a computer exam. And after that, I had an interview. Kaso, nung interview, tsaka ako lang nalaman na nagkaroon, I don't know, a mix-up or something. Kasi, for that company, I applied for position A. Tapos, nung interview, tsaka ako lang nalaman na I was actually taking exams for position B, which I didn't apply for in the first place. Although, pwede din naman, hindi kasi siya yung parang gustong-gusto kong job. Pero, sabi kasi nung mag-ulang ko, oh, mag-yes ka lang sa kahit ang sabi nila. So, sabi ko, sige po, position B na lang po. So, ayun. So, sabi nila, okay, we'll get back to you. Ganyan. And then, they never replied. <laughs> and I actually felt really, ano ba, disheartened. Wow! Um, after that, kasi akala ko talaga yun na yun. And I really like the, the company. Yun, medyo nalungkot ako kasi parang, wait lang, may job offer na ako nung ano, tapos tinurndang ko, tapos biglang back to zero na naman tayo. Pero wala eh, ganun talaga yung reality of finding a job. And sabi nga sa akin, baka hindi lang talaga yun para sa'yo. Also remember that what's meant for you will not pass you by. Parang every season nag-start na rin ako magdasal. Lord, whatever job you give me, I hope it's something that I'll love. And i-lead nyo ako kung saan ako pinaka-mag-grow. Para tumangkanda ko, joke. Okay. After November, December na guys. Alam nyo naman, and kapag December, very busy ang mga companies and there's also Christmas parties. So, even if I did apply, I don't think na maaasikaso ako kasi they have a lot on their plate. I talk to my dad, tapos sabi niya, Sige, January na lang. Di ba naman kailangan huwag madali eh. Tapos parang, okay, January na lang ulit. Baka siya na lang ulit ako ngayong December. So, ayun, vacation mode again. Pero, since alam ko nang malapit nang mag-end yung vacation ko, salo akong parang, ito na yung last days mo bago ka mag- work for the rest of your life, so might as well do everything in your bucket list, ganyan, um, things that you want to do. And then, birthday ko kasi is January 9, which fell on a Thursday. So, sabi ko, the week after that, tsaka ako mag-start mag-apply ulit. That was the plan. And then, nung January 10, Friday, I was just here at home. Ang chill ko pala, gumagawa lang akong scrapbook, ganyan. <laughs> Tapos, biglang may nag-text. Ayan, nag-text ulit si company number two. <laughs> They're inviting me back for another exam and interview. Tapos, sobrang, what? Oh my God, sobrang nashook ako. Kasi, alam mo yun, gumagawa lang ako ng scrapbook dito. Tapos, biglang meron na agad. And sobrang galing kasi I was supposed to start applying for other companies a week after that. Pero biglang, eto na, binigay na sa akin agad. Tapos parang, Lord, thank you, best birthday gift ever. Hindi ko na kailangan mag-research ulit, ganun. So yun, I said yes. So I went back for another exam and interview on Wednesday. Pagbalik ko, I was applying naman for position C. It's a position that I didn't initially think na pwede ako mag-apply for. Pero nung in-explain na sa akin, parang sabi ko, hmm, Fiko, kaya ko to. Fiko, bagay ako dito. So, yun. I took the exam and it was a written exam and sobrang medyo mahaba siya, guys. Na medyo nakakaiyak ang hirap na habang nag-exam ako. Sabi ko, sige na. Hindi natanggap ko na hindi talaga ako para dito mag apply na ako bukas sa iba. Pero, nung tapos ko, okay naman pala daw and I had an interview after that. Okay naman and sabi nila na Tatawagan na lang ulit ako. The next day after that, they called and invited me back for like a final interview with like the head, ganun. Friday, January 17th, that was my final interview, ganyan. And after that, they offered me a job. And yun na yun, yung parang na-feel ko na talaga that moment na. Ito na yun. Ito na yun. So, yun, I accepted. And two weeks after, I started working. As of this moment, I've been there for like a month and a half. And yeah, I'm really liking the experience. As in, nagugulit din ako sarili ko. Minsan ko pa nag-work ako. Parang, oh, fun. <laughs> yeah, and I really like the company of the people I work with. And just the overall vibe that I get when I'm there is, ito yun. Parang, it, this is what's meant for me. So, ayun. <laughs> Daming drama, nakakainis. <laughs> so, ayun, that was the end of my 8 month long vacation. Again, I know that I'm very, very lucky enough to be able 
to have a vacation for that long. And so na appreciate ko din siya because it was really just a time for myself. Wala kang iniisip na deadlines ganun. After worrying about all your submissions for five whole years in architecture school, what I also appreciated about it is that I actually had the time to take a step back and reflect on what I really wanted to achieve in my life. Na parang, oh, Wait lang. Ano nga bang gusto ko marating sa buhay ko? I'm very glad and fortunate that I had the time to think about that and to be able to set some goals for the next few years of my life. But anyways guys, that is it for this video. I hope you like this little life update slash story time. Yeah, I'm excited to see what your life takes me. Excited ba talaga ako? So I'm still kind of adjusting to the whole working every day tapos may YouTube pa and I really still want to continue making YouTube videos so I'm trying to find the balance between that medyo mahirap pero kakayanin yun so anyways if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe and also don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you are updated whenever I post a new video comment down below what video you want to see next and I hope to see you next time bye